Patients with gastrinoma would have multiple gastric ulcers. So when you have a patient with gastric ulcers, H. pylori disease is very common, so the usual practice would be to treat them for H. pylori and then rescope these patients, and then these ulcers should start to disappear. Now, if they are not disappearing, then your concern is it A, a malignancy, or B, is it a gastrinoma? For gastrinoma, they are usually multifocal. And of course, the biopsy would not be suggestive or cancer or and would be negative for H. pylori because the ulcers are from gastrin production and there is no tumor underneath. So the biopsy would be non-diagnostic, but definitely when there is a gastric ulcer, you should biopsy it. Serum gastrin level is the test to be done. Uh, if it's above a thousand, then it's diagnostic. Otherwise, you have to do a secretin stimulation test. A thing to remember for the serum gastrin level, make sure they are not on PPIs because that can derange your test. For the secretin stimulation test, the secretin should decrease your gastrin levels. In gastrinoma, it does not. And the test is very specific. Now, this should be followed up by a somatostatic analog study to see where the tumor lies. Now, 90% of these gastrinomas are within the gastrinoma triangle, which is the bifurcation of the bowel duct, the first and the second part of the duodenum, uh, some portion of the head of the uh, pancreas and the distal part of the stomach. So that is where they lie. Now, if your somatostatin analog study is negative, you still have to go to the operating room because the secretin stimulation test was positive. In the operating room, what you can do is make sure you mobilize the duodenum, do a full cocorization, palpate the duodenum, uh, palpate the pancreas, enter the lesser sac, palpate the distal bile ducts, ask for an ultrasound in the operating room, look for lesions, and one other thing that can be done is that turn uh, the room lights dim and with an EGD scope enter the stomach and the duodenum and through the bright light you will see a small pixel of dark appearing region which may be the tumor. So these are the maneuvers you can do in the operating room if your localization study is negative.